What's up everyone, this is FreeSimmyG. So for today's video today, I actually have to discuss to you what, in terms of what's going on with the Blizz Overkill in terms of their status, what's going on, and some, what, and some forth. So the topic today I actually actually have to talk about is, is the game dying? And is there any chance of actually coming back up again to its former glory when it was up to its peak with a lot of players playing to it? So just to give you a little rundown, I have to tell you what's going on in terms of what's going on to the Aquarius Studios development department and what's going on with their project managers and somewhat. So if you guys haven't noticed, if you notice Jay hasn't been around the Discord server most recently, that is because uh, he actually didn't, if you don't know who Jay is, he's the community manager amongst the Bulls of Kill group just taking suggestions from the players and try to improvise some seed feedback and at the same time he's the one responsible for the, of all the balance changes. He actually decided to leave the company because he actually wants to pursue a better career than the one he has right now, saying that the Aquarius studio is not offering enough challenges to up to his most ability, so that's why he decided to leave the company. But he's still around in the, the Discord server you want to talk to him, but if you want anything info regarding Blizzard of Kill, new content or anything above that, he actually won't have that information as he actually quit the company. Moving on to what's going on to the Aquarius studio itself, if you know Hanza, he's the only developer that's actually in the project right now, and at the same time, he actually has to allocate 50% of his time into Blizzard Overkill. At the same time, he has to allocate the rest of his time to another project that Aquarius studio is, is developing. So there are many developers out there dedicated to Blizzard Overkill project, and that can actually explain why there's a lot of content already updates ever since that last update we actually had recently. So that's actually why the actually draw people away from the game because there's nothing updates, there's nothing new that's going on. It's going to be the same thing as you go in the game, either go for ranking, you want to go through at least the top 10 or something like that, or you want to just go play the game just for collecting loot box sakes. So this explains why the game is actually heading towards the dead game loot. And I heard from Hanza himself saying that they are in the process of hiring new people into the job so they won't let the game go run dead or something like that. But if they don't do it anytime sooner, it's going to be to the point that there's going to be so, a very few players that actually play the game. And unless they actually try to market the game more efficiently, more better, and actually input more updates every once in a while with sufficient members, then that'll be the only chance to win the game actually actually bounce up again. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of me explaining what the state of what's going on in Bliss's Overkill. And if you want more gameplay of it, I'll try to do as much as I can if posting more gameplay with a variety of weapons. But there isn't much stuff for me to do in the game as I pretty much have everything I want besides some skins I've been waiting to get sent. But I actually have to allocate more time to other games as they have been getting more updates recently and then have to keep up with that. If you enjoyed this video, just throw down a comment down below saying that what's your take into the situation of the game right now. And hopefully I get to hear your feedback and hopefully I can actually bring this up to her, to Honda and then he actually can forward this to the Aquarius studio team to just to tell them like what's going on with the game and the, the stuff they needed to fix the game. So I'll try to do my best to try, post more gameplay videos as much as I can just to take on requests of what type of weapon I should use and I already have one because it's going on right now but I'll try to get that done out of the way and try to get this posted as soon as possible. So I'll see you in the next video for now and then I'll talk to you later.